Good evening. A fire has destroyed yet another sports club room, and this time Precious All Blacks memorabilia has gone up in smoke. Here's Gordon Finlater. The Glenmark Rugby Club rooms have been destroyed, with irreplaceable photos, trophies and memorabilia lost forever. In the early hours of this morning, a local policeman spotted the blaze as he was driving past and tried to get in to save whatever he could, but the smoke was too thick. By the time fire crews from Amberley and Wipra made it to the club rooms, the blaze had spread to nearby hedging. It took 10 fire crews two hours to get it under control. CTV rugby commentator Pete Smith explains what the loss of the club rooms will mean to the community. Yeah, it's a very sad day, of course, Goody, for uh, the Omahi district and, of course, for the Glenmark Club, steeped in history, not only at the, uh, for the club itself, but it's very much in the folklore of New Zealand rugby, to be honest. Uh, the 10 All Blacks they produced weren't just All Blacks, they were very, very good All Blacks. And uh, it just meant so much. The club, of course, had uh, ups and downs over their long time. And I remember the likes of Richard Lowe's dad, Frank Lowe, stepping into the breach to coach them. And then Alec Wiley's dad, Joe Wiley, stepped in to, to save them again. And uh, it wasn't just a rugby club either. It was like their town hall. All the business was discussed in that region. Um, all took place in the Glenmark Club. And uh, they all miss that terribly. There's no two ways about it. The fire couldn't have come at a worse time, with the club planning their end-of-season function this weekend. But the rugby club's former president and committee member Scott Berry says they've pulled together to find an alternate venue. Went down and put the marquee up at the Wiper Domain instead of at the Omani Domain. So we're still going ahead with that and we're 220 people coming. So I think the chair will get together and, um, and move on and just talk about the, the memories in the hall. But it's a shame really losing all the old memorabilia and, and pictures and, and uh, things like that. Um, there's a lot of history in that club. The club rooms will not only be a loss to the rugby club, but to North Canterbury as a whole. The building has a lot of history, as it was built by the local community in the early 1900s. In the 20s, the only residents got together and, and built the hall. Um, they still, the only residents yeah, still own the hall, and the Denmark Club rugby club leases it uh, for a very small fee. It was built for the community to use. Um, it's also used by the Omi School today for their productions because um, it's across the road from Omi School. So it's very much a community uh, centre, not, not just a rugby club. Gordon Findlater, CTV News.